We are going to solve question number eight from the October November series 23. This is 0580 paper 4. Now, this question eight is on probability. The diagram shows two fair dies. Dice A is numbered 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 6, and dice B is numbered 2, double, 3, triple, 4. Dice A is rolled once. Write down the probability that it lands on the number 6. So out of the 6 possible faces, 6 comes only one time. So this would be 1 by 6. Dice A is rolled 150 times. So if one time, the probability is 1 sixth. Find the number of times it is expected to land on the number 6. So I will just do 1 sixth of the number of times I'm rolling it. And this number comes out to be 25. Moving on, dice A and B are each rolled once. Find the probability that the two numbers they land on have a total of 6. Now, on observing the sample space over here, I know that we can have 36 options like 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3 again, 1, 4, 1 with 4 again, and 1 with 4. So, 1 will be paired with six of them six times. Two will be paired with six of them six times. So the sample space is of 36 outcomes. Out of that, if I just have to boil down on a total of six. So a total of six can be obtained when I have an outcome of two with four and when I have an outcome of three with three. So in this case, what I can do is I can first take out what is the probability of 2 and 4 coming together on both of them and probability of 3 and 3. This is for the probability of A and B. And I add these cases. So the probability of 2 on the first and 4 on the second, the probability of 2 on the first is 3 out of 6 and 4 is also 3 out of 6. So probability of 2 on the first and 4 on the second and probability of 3 on the first and 3 on the second. So this is 3 out of 6 and 3 out of 6 plus 1 out of 6 and 2 out of 6. This answer boils down to 11 out of 36. So the answer that we are looking for is 11 by 36. Moving on, if I just say find the probability that when the two numbers when they land on, have a total of 6, then both the numbers are 3. That means my possible outcomes are boiling down to 11. Out of the 11 cases, that means there are 11 such cases when the total is 6. What are the cases when both the numbers are 3? So out of these 11 cases, if I go back to my sample space, I'll see that this 3 can come with this 3 once and this 3 can also come with this 3 another time once. So A pay 3 B and again A is 3 and B is 3. There are two such possibilities. So the probability would be 2 by 11 and this is a classic case of conditional probability. Moving on, this is a question which requires a little more deliberation. Dice B is rolled n times. The probability that on the nth roll it first lands on a number 3 is 32 by 729. Find the value of n. So if I just talk about dice B, the output that is coming on dice B is a limited one because it's either showing a 2, a 3, or a 4. So the probability of 2 is 1 by 6. The probability of 3 is 2 by 6, which is nothing but 1 by 3 again. And the probability of 4 is 3 by 6. So if on the first roll, 2 is coming, in the second roll, probably a 3 can come a 2 can come or a 4 can come. Similarly, if I just make my probability 3, the same thing happens here again too. 
and I'm writing the corresponding probabilities. So this is my probability tree. Now, the probability tree suggests that for sure, n, the number three, is not coming on the first roll. Had it come on the first roll, the probability would directly be one by three, and there was no need to go to other throws. But surely on the first throw, three is not coming. So if the probability of three is one by three, that means the probability of not coming three is two by three. So on the first roll, I am getting a probability that three did not come and then maybe a three came. On the second, maybe this was the second throw only. In, within two throws, three has come. But if it happens in three throws, so this is two throws. So under three throws, what will happen? That three did not come, three did not come, but three came and hence we stopped. So under four throws, three did not come, did not come, did not come, but on the fourth throw, it came. So if I just have to make a sequence in the nth throw, that means two by three is coming n minus one time. You can see here it's coming one time, here it's coming two times, here it's coming three times. That means it's one minus the number of throws. That means it's n minus one times one by three is the probability of three coming in the nth throw. So now I simply solve this equation. So I get two by three to the power n minus one into one by three is given to me as 32 so upon 729. So when I simplify this, I cancel this and this becomes 243. So two by three to the power n minus one is 32 by 243. So the exponential form, this is two by three times five. So n minus 1 is 5, which implies n is 6. So hence, the answer is 6. Hope this helps you. Please comment down once you've understood this question. Thank you for watching.